This is their explanation, and for those of you who are scientists, just prepare to cringe a little bit. Peptides explained how a skincare supercharger became beauty's big buzzword. Some peptides are really deadly. There's a lot of poisons that are peptides as well. Hello, welcome to the Crossover Connections with Jack Wayne podcast. I'm a scientist and a college professor at an Australian university. So whose job is it anyway? Where we talk about how science, tech, and productivity can inform the way we approach our jobs and careers heading into the future, the cosmetic industry. This is from Vanity Fair. So straight away, a disclaimer, Vanity Fair is obviously not a journalistic outlet in science and tech. They're in this uh, amorphous celebrity culture kind of space. No shade, just that's what they are. And it's kind of a way for them to sell these skin products, right? But what they've decided to highlight in this article is peptides explained. How a skincare supercharger became beauty's big buzzword. And they're talking about wrinkles and dark spots. Okay, so cosmetics is an enormous industry. And if the work that we do in science has any parallels in the sector, that's yet another commercial outlet that can help uplift and maybe in some cases fund foundational research we need to do to understand the basic processes of life just that little bit better. This article really goes into try to explain exactly what peptides are. Peptides, when you break it down, they are the fundamental building block of protein. And protein is used in all our cells, but also protein is a huge component, if not the protein primary component of meat. So it's a really common thing in any kind of biological system. For some reason, the beauty industry doesn't use the word protein. They use the word peptide. I don't really know why. We use the word peptide as a very, very generalistic description of a collection of amino acids. It's not a full protein necessarily, but if you've got a few amino acids chained together, we call them in the scientific community peptides. The beauty industry has hijacked it because they've spoken to a couple of dermatologists Dermatological surgeons and dermatologists about what peptides are. This is their explanation. And for those of you who are scientists, just prepare to cringe a little bit. A brief biology refresher on amino acids, the fundamental building blocks within the body. Good start. A small chain of amino acids forms a peptide. A chain of peptides, meanwhile, creates a protein. This dermatologic surgeon says peptides often act as little biological messengers, carrying information from one cell to another. He's not wrong. I'm trying to simplify for maybe the audience that this publication is attending. The function that a specific peptide carries out is dependent on the types of amino acids involved in a chain and a sequence, as well as the specific shape of the peptides. When applied topically, peptides can trigger skin cells to perform functions like producing collagen, elastin, two proteins that help serve as a skin scaffolding, as well as encouraging hyaluronic acid synthesis, pigmentation reduction, a huge gold mine of investment that we need to make to make these skin products A, really safe, or B, very effective, because this is something that has enormous commercial potential if the scientific community can tap into it more than we currently are, because they're talking about things like like peptides as if all peptides are very similar and they're using peptides as the catchphrase. Some peptides are really deadly. There's a lot of poisons that are peptides as well. Very much a black box to most people who use or consume cosmetic products in some way, shape or form. This is yet another avenue that we can apply those skill sets towards understanding how the general public cares about the work we do. And they certainly care about cosmetics. They certainly care about their own appearance. This is a huge market. And I think the way they're talking about peptides shows it's very much in its infancy. That sector really doesn't understand this technology much at all. And that's something that we can tap into to further improve our employability and the broad appeal of science as something that everyone should know a little bit about. You can find our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, as well as Google Podcasts. I'm Jack and hope to connect with you again next time around.